Hello. Welcome to my channel. Top 8 Richest Women in the World. Let's get started. Number 8. Loren Powell Jobs and Family. Net Worth, $16.4 Billion. Country, United States. Source of Wealth, Apple, Disney. The widow of late Apple, co-founder Steve Jobs, D. 2011. Powell Jobs heads Emerson Collective, a hybrid philanthropic and investing limited liability company she founded in 2016. Speaking about her wealth, Powell Jobs told the New York Times in February. I'm not interested in legacy wealth buildings, and my children know that. Steve wasn't interested in that. If I live long enough, it ends with me. Her fortune is down $2.2 billion from last year in part due to a decline in Disney's share price, but also because Forbes got better insight into her total assets. Number 7. Suzanne Clatton. Net worth, $16.8 billion. Country, Germany. Source of wealth, BMW, pharmaceuticals. An heir to, car maker BMW, Clatton has seen her net worth tumble 20% in the past year, as car sales slowed amid the pandemic. BMW's stock fell 24% in the first half of March. Clatton is also the sole owner, and deputy chairman of Altana, a pharmaceutical and specialty chemicals corporation. Number 6. Yang Huian and Family. Net worth, $20.3 billion. Country, China. Source of wealth, real estate. The 38-year-old owns 57%, and sits on the board of Hong Kong-listed real estate developer Country Garden, which her father founded and chairs. In response to the coronavirus pandemic, the company set up robotic, automated food serving stations in Wuhan, where the virus originated, to feed Chinese medical workers. Number 5. Jacqueline Mars. Net worth, $24.7 billion. Country, United States. Source of wealth, candy, pet food. Mars and her brother John, each inherited one-third of the $35 billion, sales, candy company known for M&M's, and Milky Way bars. Her late brother Forrest Jr.'s. Four daughters own the rest of Mars, which also has a large pet food and vet care business. Jacqueline Mars worked for the company for nearly 20 years and served on the board until 2016. Number 4. Mackenzie Bezos. Net worth, $36 billion. Country, United States. Source of wealth, Amazon.com. Bezos, makes her debut on the list after finalizing her divorce, with Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, in July 2019, the award-winning novelist received, a quarter of her ex-husband's shares in the e-commerce giant. Mackenzie signed the giving pledge, promising to give away at least half of her fortune, in May 2019. Number 3. Julia Koch and Family. Net worth, $38.2 billion. Country, United States. Source of wealth. Koch Industries New to this year's list, Koch joined the billionaire ranks, after she and her three children inherited a 42% stake in Koch Industries, from her husband, David, who died in August 2019, at age 79. A native Iowan, Koch moved to New York City in the 1980s, and worked as an assistant to fashion designer Adolfo. Number 2. Francoise Betancourt, Myers & Family Net worth, $48.9 billion country, France. Source of wealth, L'Oreal. The granddaughter of, L'Oreal founder, Eugène Schuller became France's reigning, L'Oreal heiress in 2017 after her mother Liliana Betancourt, then the world's richest woman, died at age 94. Betancourt Meyer's fortune, has declined $400 million since last year's, list amid the coronavirus pandemic, as shares of the cosmetics giant dropped, 12% in the first two weeks of March. In March, the company announced that, its factories would start making hand sanitizer, to support the needs of French and European health authorities. Number 1. Alice Walton. Net worth, $54.4 billion. Country, United States. Source of wealth, Walmart. The only daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton, reclaims her title this year as the richest woman in the world, after losing that spot to, L'Oreal, heiress Françoise Bettencourt Myers in 2019. Despite recent market turbulence, Walton has seen her fortune increase 23% since last year. Walton, who does not have a role at Walmart, is helping to lead a program at the Walton Family Foundation, that will issue $300 million in bonds to help charter schools invest in and renovate facilities. Thanks for watching video. Give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe.